how do you do? I am Alfred Hitchcock, and I would like to tell you about my latest motion picture, Marnie, which will be coming to this theater soon. Marnie is a very difficult picture to classify. It is not psycho, nor do we have a horde of birds flapping about and pecking at people willy-nilly. We do have two very interesting human specimens, a man and a woman. One might call Marnie a sex mystery, that is, if one used such words. But it is more than that. Perhaps the best way to tell you about the picture is to show you a few scenes. This is Mark coming down the stairs of his family home outside Philadelphia. He is a thoughtful man dark and brooding. He is, in a sense, a hunter. And this is what he is hunting, Marnie. Seeing her in her mother's modest house, one wonders how two such different people could cross paths. It was certainly not Marnie's idea. Marnie was going about her own business like any normal girl, happy, happy, happy. Suddenly, into this colorful life comes Mark. At first, he didn't know what to make of Marnie. She does seem a rather excitable type. What would account for this strange behavior? Has she just realized that she forgot her umbrella? The colors. Stop the colors. What colors? Marnie's trouble goes deeper than that, far deeper. And this is the problem which Mark must probe. But first, something must be done to calm this girl. Our hero applies mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. But that may give you the impression this picture is all sex and no mystery. Not so at all. Here, for example, Marnie is speaking to, uh, I'm not sure who actually, but he is a man from her past, a past she seems to be denying. Oh dear, they're at it again. Let me assure you that this is all in the spirit of investigation. And this, here is further proof that Marnie is a talking picture. You don't love me. I'm just something you've caught. You think I'm some kind of animal you've trapped. That's right, you are. And I've caught something really wild this time, haven't I? I've tracked you and caught you, and by God, I'm going to keep you. That should be quite enough. If you wish to hear more, you will have to buy a ticket. As for which one of them is a wild animal, there are times when I'm not sure. I don't think that was necessary. Actually, I think I should withhold comment, since I'm not certain I understand this scene. I shall leave the explanation to your own vivid imagination. It would appear that Mark has a single solution for all problems. This is not so. Mark is a complex man, dark and forbidding. He can also be kind and considerate. And he is also a troubled man. Troubled because he cannot seem to unravel the mystery of the girl called Marnie. 